everybody it's daydreams welcome back to the channel for another video here in clash of kings and guys i just woke up you can probably see the bags under my eyes literally about five minutes ago but i had a dream i had a dream of the glory days of clash of kings and you know i did a live stream last night for the kill event kingdom conquest in um clash of kings and you know i'll show you some screenshots of it right now we had all the big dogs out we had like 10 prestige sixes teleported we were super rallying and hitting other prestige sixes and <clears throat> with prestige six it's just the biggest stalemate in the world we were hitting just like 100 200 about 180 million p sixes and you just couldn't break through it they just had so the stats even on an average small level p6 is so high that you 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 can't even you can't even zero them it's very difficult to zero them you're gonna lose a lot to zero them and it really isn't worth it especially in a kingdom conquest if you're gonna lose more than it cost to zero them now if it was in your own kingdom you need to get rid of that player sure that'd be one thing but the game is just so ridiculous now guys but i was thinking about a way that we could uh you know at least bring this game back to where it's at least fun to play and there's only one thing i can think of because there's no no going back the, the, there's irreparable irreparable damage to this game the, the game has been damaged so so hard that there's really no going back to the glory days even the days of p5 and lower were great the P6 came, and literally, if you don't have a P6, you're you're done for. There's literally zero amount of fun you can have in this game. So, the only thing I can think of that they could do is to come out with like a ranked a ranked gameplay, a, a ranked game mode, and it shouldn't be that hard for them to do. They've already got the infrastructure for it. Make it kind of like a dragon campaign. You could have like you know, it doesn't have to be a team team based. Just have like a rank ladder. That's all I'm asking for, guys. All I'm asking for. A rank ladder where, um, you know, kind of like um, Ancient Battlefield where like 100 people go in uh, and you fight and you fight uh, for points and then it, you, your, your name goes on a leaderboard, but it's like a permanent leaderboard. And let's say um, you can you can go into ranked matches three times a day. That's It's not going to overload where people are just in it 24-7. At least one to three times a day you can go into to it. At least once a day let people go into it and fight for some kind of rank system at least. Give us something for our investment. Um, and obviously, when I say this, rank, no, don't make it unlimited everything where all the P6s are just destroying everybody. Make it like a tournament cap, kind of like Clash Royale did. Make it to where everybody has, like, say, a Prestige 5 castle, 400% archer attack, and all the other statistics are, are the same. And where you have to attack to get, like, uh, you know, you can upgrade your stats and stuff in the battle by completing quests by attacking people by hitting monsters by doing different things i don't know just i'm just brainstorming here but we have to have something with this game i'm sick of years of my life spent to have zero i'm not having fun with it anymore they have to come up with something and i'm not just gonna abandon the game i've got way too much time money and relationships with all of you invested in this game for them to just sit here and, and destroy it like this so they have to come up with something guys i want to hear some of your brainstorming ideas i I don't even have any direction for this video. I just wanted to come on here and be like, man, they've really, they've really screwed this game up. And we have to come up with some kind of idea to at least get, squeeze one ounce of fun out of this game, man. Because I don't, I don't, none of my friends are having fun in the game. Dude, my friend Steven has a 1 billion power castle with, I believe, 900%. Yeah, he's got 900% archer attack with just a regular buff on. So he'd have like a 1,000% archer attack. If he's not having fun anymore, then nobody's having fun anymore. I mean, it's not even fun for a, you know, for him, he's not going to enjoy going around and just hitting Prestige 2, Prestige 3, Prestige 4, even Prestige 5 castles. He wants to hit the big boys. But the way that the stats are, it, it's killed the strategy in the game. So the only way that they can bring back any strategy and any amount of fun is if they come up with some type of ranked ladder competitive tournament standard system where you can go in and you can actually have fun again that's the only thing i can think of and like you know the world cup will be coming back around soon that's great but we waited another year to, to have it we can't have an event once a year that's enjoyable like that's just ridiculous they expect us to, to play this game and uh to support this game but yet they don't do anything to support us and you know just just to show you i mean just to spite me about a month ago, they uh, released that they're doing like kind of like a World Cup kind of tournament, North American tournament. 16 teams, 16 captains from each team. And each team was named with the state, like Trouble got a team, um, 
bunch of people got a team. I'm not going to name everybody. Uh, a lot of my friends got teams. They purposely didn't give me a team just to spite me. You know what I mean? Uh, just because I haven't been a good boy. So that alone just shows you uh, how spiteful these people are. And, you know, don't do it for me. Do it for the community. Do it for the people that have supported this game for the past four years. Don't do it for me. But come up with something so that people can have fun again. Um, once a year tournaments aren't aren't fun. Uh, spending spending uh, a million dollars for some event isn't fun. It's fun for probably the 20 people that get to go, but it isn't fun for the rest of us. Why don't you take that money and take some time to develop something good for the game, something that'll give the game longevity? Because what you're doing right now is bullshit, and none of us are enjoying it, and... You know, we obviously know there's no make Clash of Kings great again. Clash of Kings will never be great again, guys. I'm telling you this right now. I look down the camera. Never. Ever. Never. It is too far gone. When you release changes that have this big of an impact on the game, you need to have testing for this stuff. You need to test these changes and you need to get feedback from the community. Players like me who actually play the game. Because the people at Clash of Kings who play on max accounts, they don't even play the game. They don't know what it's like. To play the game and to grind the game i do you know especially when my first two years in this game i was so balls deep like i did nothing else in my life i played this game like 12 hours a day 16 hours a day sometimes if we were you know in a war so i understand the game inside now they don't they don't they don't they play on max accounts max accounts and have and have no idea the struggle for the everyday player and then they think that like because they play on max accounts, they think that's what it's like for everybody. No, that's a very, very small percentage of Clash of Kings players. Like, an average player is like a, like a, even a P5 who's spending, you know, a few bucks here and there. Like, there has to be balance, guys. There has to be balance. So, the game will never be the same again. It's so far gone that, like, the amount of balancing it would take, they can't do it. Because for them to fix it, and I've talked to people at Clash of Kings before, and they know that they screwed up bad with the prestige really bad they know that they screwed up with the heroes and the graphing stone and the and the dragon glass all these things that made the the gap for the archer attack so bad but they can't nerf archers now they can't completely nerf it because people sent spent so much money on this stuff that you know it could even be a terms of service issue so it, it's it's bad guys what they what they've done is bad and the, the worst part about it is is that they ask for no pl no player feedback none they don't communicate with us you know, they think that people like me are beneath them. They really do. And that they have all the ideas because, you know, just because, I don't know. I'm not going to get into that part of it. Made enough enemies. But, uh, yeah, this video has been long enough, guys. I just wanted to say that they have to come out with something for the community. And you guys, I don't know if you're having fun in the game. Let me know in the comment section down below how many of you are enjoying the game and having fun with it. And then, uh, for those of you that are having fun with it, Come to your castle level, because that would be interesting to know. I don't think even the Prestige Sixes are having fun. Guys, I'm near P P6. I have m a lot of friends, dozens of friends who are Prestige Six castles, and I can't think of any of them that are having fun in the game right now. There has to be something. they got to change it up. They've been giving us the same bullshit for years now. Uh, P6 got released a year ago. Someone said uh, a reliable source told me that they're planning to release Prestige 7. In November that just shows me the lack of um, you know the lack of creativity on the development team and it's really really embarrassing what they've done to the game that so many of us enjoy playing you know I built a YouTube channel off of this game so it's just really really sad to see the state of the game and and how unenjoyable it has become so thanks guys for watching hear me rant real quick um, I'm gonna be live streaming here in just a bit if you want to come hang out uh, yeah team makes dream work Make sure you guys spread the video to all of your friends who play the game. Tell me if they would enjoy some kind of like ranked ladder system. Something to at least make it to where it's a fair playing field. You can have all the regular bullshit, all the kingdom vs. kingdom, all the ancient battlefield, all the mineral vein, all of the overlord wars. Everything that they've implemented, guys. Everything besides the World Cup, which comes once a year, basically. Everything they've implemented has only benefited the biggest castles in the game. They have to have things for for, for mid-range smaller players and now that I'm seeing what other games do for their for their smaller players for their role players for their for their small range players it's really really embarrassing uh, that we've allowed Clash of Kings to get away with this for so long so thank you guys spread the spread the word